I'm Dr. Zora Ahmed and I will be discussing uh, 10 radiology spotters or antennas which will be useful for people preparing for MD, DNB or FRCR exam. So the first one is an HSG or hysterosalpicography and uh, here we see two widely separated uterine cavities with an interconual angle of approximately 100 degrees and this is a piconoate uterus. This is an HRCT. Uh, showing basically two predominant abnormalities. Uh, one is macrocystic honeycombing and the other is uh, reticulation or reticular opacities, which are noted bilaterally and with a peripheral predominance. Also, there is peripheral architectural distortion and uh, loss of volume in bilateral lungs. So this is a case of interstitial lung disease uh, of usual interstitial pneumonia pattern. So this patient came in with history of trauma and here we could see a metallic foreign body within the right globe along with abnormal shape and uh, here we can see a defect in the globe along with the extravasation uh, of contents outside uh, along with thickening of the uh, globe and surrounding structures. So this is a traumatic uh, rupture of the right globe along with a metallic foreign body. So this is a simple case, uh, an extraaxial lesion with the CSF cleft and buckling of the gray white matter junction. So this is a meningioma. So here we can see abnormality in bilateral cerebral hemispheres. Uh, multiple cystic lesions are noted uh, with eccentric, hyperdense, scolex, uh, and some of these lesions show surrounding edema. So this is a case of disseminated neurocystic psychosis, uh, which is very common in India. And uh, so this would be either vesicular stage or colloid vesicular stage. Uh, chest radiograph shows ill-defined airspace opacification in the right lower zone with saluting of the right heart border. So this is a case of right middle lobe pneumonia. Spine MRI of this uh, five-year-old child. Here we can see an abnormality in the region of the conus medullaris. There's a well-defined cystic lesion, uh, which is communicating with the central canal. Uh, on the axial images, we can see this uh, better and the communication is also well visualized. So this is a case of persistent terminal ventricle cyst. Uh, and uh, the differential is basically arachnoid cyst or tumor. And absence of enhancement uh, helps to differentiate this with tumor. And uh, arachnoid cyst is generally eccentric and will not show communication with the central canal. So uh, this is the next, next case. Uh, we see multiple ring enhancing lesions uh, in the bilateral cerebral hemispheres. Uh, on the spectroscopy, we see absence of choline peak. And there's a, a marked peak in the region of uh, lipid spectrum at about 1.4 uh, ppm. So this is a lipid peak. And this is typical of tuberculoma. Contrast and CT abdomen at the level of pancreas shows uh, that the entire pancreatic parenchyma is infiltrated with fat. So this is a case of pancreatic lipomatosis. So here we see uh, there is complete reversal or inversion of the normal situs uh, with a cardiac apex pointing towards the right side stomach located on the right side, liver on the left side, and also there is a marked hydronephrosis in the left kidney uh, with non-visualization of the ureter. So this is a, a situs and versus totalis with uh, left POJ obstruction. This is the last case. Uh, chest radiograph of this 17-year-old uh, with severe anemia shows a uh, well-defined lobulated opacity in the right upper zone in the paravertebral location uh, and in the left retrocardiac region. Multiple such similar rounded opacities are seen. On the lateral chest radiograph, we can see that these uh, rounded opacities are located in the posterior mediastinum. And on the hand radiograph, uh, it is noted that there is trapeculated appearance of all the bones along with cortical thinning and uh, medullary expansion. So, uh, the diagnosis of this is extramedullary hematopoiesis uh, in the setting of hemolytic anemia. So uh, commonly that is thalassemia. And on CT, these uh, uh, soft tissue masses were uh, confirmed to be arising from the ribs. Thank you for listening.